We are heading out, ladies and gentlemen, the boys and I. I gotta talk a little quiet, by the way. Michael is napping. Tip of the day, real quick, lay out all your racing gear uh, the night before or the day before the race. Lay it all out on the floor from head to toe, although right now I don't have my shoes uh, yet because they're in Michael's room, so can't forget to pack those. But just lay it out so that way on race day, you're not forgetting anything. You know the drill, like you just don't wanna be you know, fretting and trying to find something the morning of your race. Um, and even, I like to even get my bib number uh, the night before or the two days before and pin it on the shirt. So, Cause I, it's just the less you have to think about on race morning, the better. So you can just relax, stay calm and just chill out. So anyway, that is what I'm doing now. Laying out the poles, laying out the uh, all the clothes. And by the way, you have to look at the weather forecast, of course, like two days out, three days out, and then the day before, because if the weather is about to change, that is going to impact what you wear on race day. Sound good? Sound good? All right, we're rolling to the mountains. We're going to go to the running shoe store today. Oh, I cannot wait for this moment, this moment. All right, let's, let's back up. All right, we are on our way to the mountains and it is the wild, wild west out here. You gotta be careful. Uh, in the past week, there have been two avalanches that have come down across this highway, I-70, right where we're about to drive through this, uh, this canyon. So anyway, I'm gonna have my eyes out and uh, making sure no avalanches are coming down the mountain. Everyone I think was okay in the avalanches that got caught, but uh, yeah, it's, it's serious out here. So. We are, uh, we are not messing around in the mountains. Holy guacamole. All right, let's just keep our eyes, eyes peeled. All right. Boys, we made it to Carbondale. Now we're gonna go pick up Uncle Joseph. And remember how you've been asking about uh, running shoes? Should we try and go find you guys some? Yay! All right. And I didn't wanna put Papa. <laughs> That's right. So we're gonna try and go find some running shoes at Independence Run and Hike. But boys, there's no guarantee that they're gonna have your size, okay? So we just gotta, we just gotta, we just gotta roll with it, okay? crosses. Mm -hmm. Look at those. Look at how small those are. What, what do you think of that? Let me see. 
What do you think? Almost. But, Almost. But I want to. Hey, Joseph, look at this. Look at that one. Little you... matches your coat. I did. Look at those. Oh my goodness. Too Buddy. crazy. It's got just a full list. I'll show you how to do it. Now you try and slide your foot in there if you can. Wiggle that toe around. Wiggle your toe. Wiggle your big toe. Wiggle it. Wiggle it. <laughs> All right, we got some groin in there. Yeah, because yeah. they are groin. <laughs> Like that. See that? That's a swiggle your toe. Oh yeah, that's good. You got about a thumb width to grow into them. Nice. So not too big, not okay. too small. Okay. And that's, have, th that's 13 or is it? That's 13. Okay. That's a regular speed cross. Yep. I have a speed cross and a water oh, nice. Just because I non-stop. Uh, what do you guys think? Nice! Nice? Nice? You like that? You like them? <laughs> I mean, I already run. You're already running. All right, they are, they are, they found their shoe. Now, what are these actually called, like the model? These is the Speed, the speed, speed Cross. Speed Cross Kids and the Speed Cross Bungee. Speed Cross Kids. Uh, okay, Speed Cross Bungee. Nice. All right, so we are at Independence Run and Hike, and I have to ask the name. Is it independent? Is it from Independence Pass? Or where is it from? So the name actually came from the owner, Brian's dog. Oh, okay. Uh, Got who uh, was named Indy and went on all of Brian's adventures. Oh. So the store was named after him and nice. he immortalized him. Oh. In the sign now, he passed away the year I started, like four years ago. Okay, but okay. It was the same year Brian's first child was born, so. It's, 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 it's awesome. Yeah. It's a good name for a, a shoe store. Yeah. You know, running shoes, it's like free spirit, get out there. Um, now, we're in Carbondale. Colorado, so that's near Aspen, Glenwood Springs for everyone. Do you uh, do group runs from here? So every Thursday night, we do a fun run from the store. So usually just a short, you know, four mile loop around town. Sometimes we'll pop up to the local trail, Mushroom Rock, yeah, and uh, drink a couple free beers after and nice. go out for pizza. Nice, cool. All right, man. Well, uh, Sean, thank you for yeah. taking care of the boys. It's a pleasure. Thanks for coming and, in. And uh, yeah, and good luck to all your racing. Throwing you. down, right? <laughs> Have fun getting in the deep snow this weekend. Right. Hi, these yeah. guys. Woo. Oh, look yeah. at that. Yeah, first, first pair of running shoes in the bank. You guys gotta grab your box. Grab your box. You get your boxes. You gotta keep that forever. Oh, here's yours. Here's yours. Sweet. Right. Boys, come here. Come here, real quick. Boys, can you believe that they had your size in the Solomon Speed Crosses? Can you believe it? Tip of the day, never, ever throw away your first pair of running shoes. If you're a youngin, keep them forever. They will, you will, you will cherish them 20 years, 30 years, 40 years down the road. Right, Seth, you're gonna keep these shoes forever? Right! Right! Burning energy, burning energy, brilliant. Alright everybody, dinner was delicious. <laughs> Thanks for cooking, Joseph. Uh, let's see, so tomorrow, first race of 2019, the America's Uphill. For all the new subscribers, uh, Joseph, where is this race taking place? How far is it, and what's the vertical gain? <laughs> a little place called Aspen. <laughs> a little place called Aspen. <laughs> Going up a pretty amazing ski area, Aspen Mountain. I'm a little biased. <laughs> and yeah, it's a short race. Distance wise, it's about two and a half miles, but it gains uh, 3,200 feet of vertical. 3,267, I guess, to be exact. Okay. And so, yeah, it's, uh, it's steep. It's obviously winter here in Colorado, so it's on the snow. So, I think I told you earlier today that I was going to tell you the shoe decision, <laughs> but I didn't realize it was going to be snowing. So, it's between the Speed Cross 5s and the Innovate Arctic Claws with the micro spikes. Do you have any uh, opinions, Joseph? Yeah, it's a tough choice. Either way, it's gonna be a hard race. We've got, we're talking about micro spikes and anybody out there not familiar, this is kind of what a micro spike is. And 
So it's basically gonna, it's snowing right now. It's been snowing all week. It's, yeah. uh, we got an email a couple hours ago. The race is still on. Barely. <laughs> Barely. <laughs> Who knows, like depending on how much snow, like they have to keep everybody safe up on the mountain. So uh, we're just kind of monitoring the snowfall. Like they said, it could be six inches tonight. Yeah, six e inches. Easily. Yeah. So it might be a powder day. It might be pretty soft. I mean, yeah, avalanche dangers up. It's, uh, yeah, it's kind of wild right now. So I will, I'll, I'm going to make a game day decision tomorrow. I just based on the snow conditions at the base of the mountain as to which shoes I take out. <laughs> and, uh, we're both going to be using poles, right? Yeah, definitely poles for yeah, sure. Yeah, it's a pole day. <laughs> and, um, yeah. So come back tomorrow for the results. Should we, should we <laughs> it's going to be a, it's going to be a red line event, right? Such a unique race. I guess every race is unique, but this this type of race is uh, yeah, it's <laughs> it's a unique challenge. Yeah. By the way, did I mention this is my brother Joseph? Yeah. <laughs> did I mention that at the beginning? All right, that's it. Um, we oh yeah, keyword is going to be um, what's the keyword? <laughs> Putting you on the spot. Uh, <laughs> vertical. <laughs> vertical. Keyword is vertical. And, All right. And the question of the day. <laughs> had to think about it for a minute. Are you racing this weekend? That's the question of the day. Any distance, anybody racing under two and a half miles, let us know. <laughs> yeah. uh, but is anybody racing over 3,200 feet, a vertical gain yeah. or a vertical 1,000 meters? That's the question of the day. All right, see beauty, work hard, love each other. See you tomorrow.